indeed can we hope for? Um, well, for the final set of the evening, um, uh, Nicholas, uh, who has had a bit of a hard time getting here, he came from uh, Copenhagen on Ryanair and bought a, a, a child seat for the guitar on the, on the airplane. And apparently that means you have to hold the child, but you can't hold a guitar. So he had to pay uh, for another seat, which cost Ooh. over 200 pounds. Which then meant that going back tomorrow, um, this was on Friday, going back tomorrow, uh, he had to buy another seat on the flight to go back. Of course, the aeroplane was full by then, so he's had to buy two seats oh. on Norwegian Air to go back. So it's been a bit of a strange weekend, but uh, we've spent the weekend talking about guitars and, and things, so I hope that goes to some way to... Uh, assuaging the terrible anger and yeah, the problems that guitarists have to deal with traveling. Uh, and all guitarists know these kind of stories. And uh, uh, so when we see people with their enormous suitcases in the, in the, in the aeroplane or their skiing equipment and all of this and shoving out the guitar players, both Nicholas's instrument and myself, my instrument, come from quite a long time ago. They're not making any more, uh, so it's not like a piece of holiday equipment. So look out for your local guitar players when they're travelling. It's not as easy as it looks. Anyway, uh, let me introduce Nicholas Fight. <laughs>